kitchen. So if you guys don't know by now, I recently figured out a way to make holograms. That's right guys, holograms. Like in all those futuristic movies that are always flex on you like it's no big deal, is a big deal. Don't act like you're not impressed by that. So if you blah, 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 blah. English. <laughs> So if you've been keeping up with this channel, you probably know how this is gonna work. I've already made a few other hologram videos. <laughs> I love that I get to say that. Just a little subtle flex for ya. It's actually my pickup line now when I talk to girls. Did you ask what time it was? Got it right here. Hologram for what? No, no, don't run away. No, run away. Stay, stay there, stay there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Works every time. Nah, uh, but for everyone who thinks this is too good to be true, kind of right. I'm not gonna lie to you, this hologram is shit compared to the movie ones. But hey, hey, how's your hologram coming? Yeah, so just, okay. okay. Now we are gonna be improving on previous designs and I don't wanna keep making washes, guys. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna chuck the thing on my smartphone because that seems like pretty good clickbait too. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna make the iPhone 30. Also, a couple things to address from the comments from the last video. I would slice my 3D prints to a finer level. However, this is a shared 3D printer. I don't wanna take up too much time. Also, I did try to make a lam laminar flow valve science. Did try to make a laminar flow valve for this, but water vapor is a little bit different than fog. Um, so, gonna have to do more work with that. Guys, let's get the signal just right and play. All right guys, we made it. Just to summarize real quick, we got a mini projector, it was the smallest one I could find that still had Wi-Fi and could connect to our phone. I'll drop a link to it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But yeah, ripped that apart, 3D printed a housing that we could cram it all into. So the phone sits on top here. As you can see, we've got like the circuit boards and the battery down in there. And then the projector is actually facing that way, but we used a mirror to bounce the beam up towards the front. So basically we can project anything we want from our phone, bounce it off this mirror, shoot it up that way, directly onto this projector screen, which is created up here. So let me explain that. So what we're gonna do is create a thin stream of fog to project onto. So this fog screen is produced by these two ultrasonic vaporizers. Now rip these out of some car humidifiers. Um, they're super cheap, like 10 bucks. I'll drop a link to those down in the description as well. Pretty much it works by vibrating these metal plates at a very high frequency, specifically one that causes water droplets to explode off of them. Yeah, that's some science shit right here. But it produces a perfect stream of vapor that we can project onto using only water. So you can add water to these things by just removing them, pull these off. We've got a little wick inside that you soak this in water, put that down in there, cap it off. Again, same for this side. 
Yeah, it should last for a little while. So my last hologram video, I only had one of these, and the fog screen it produced was pretty small, so we added another one. So hopefully the second one will give us a wider screen to project onto. Because it's Wi-Fi, it works with any smartphone, but I'm just gonna use my iPhone. So these little rings up here serve more than just providing vapor. They actually are used to hold the phone in, so we have to take these out. The phone kind of slides in like that. Right now it can wiggle around a little bit, but these ultrasonic vaporizers kind of sandwich the phone in and stop it from moving around a bit. Just like that, and now the phone can't fall out. Uh, move it around a bit. It's nice, locked in there, ready to go. And yeah, you can barely notice the thickness. <laughs> uh, I can't, yeah, no, it is, it is extremely thick. Probably about one, two, three, four, five C's. Actually reminds me of that battery phone. Energizer, I think, made a phone. It's supposed to have a battery that lasts like a week or whatever. That's the thickness we're going with. Super early prototype. Would not expect anyone in their right mind to use this. Oh yeah, I should mention, to turn this thing on, we have two haptic buttons on either side. So all you have to do is literally just tap the outside of this plastic to get the vaporizer to turn on. Also on this side, we've got all of our ports for dealing with everything. Headphone jack, a micro USB slot for charging this, micro SD card on the side. Uh, in case we want to preload some media. Also, one other thing I should mention, you don't don't try and talk while this thing's running. These ultrasonic vaporizers produce a frequency that vaporizes water. Put this up to your head. You'll pretty much vaporize the liquid in your head, so keep keep that in mind. So I got the flashlight working, we left that cut out. Got a little artwork on the back for you to make it a little bit more pleasant. Camera still works. Selfie camera works as well, so we're not really losing any functionality. So let's try this thing out. So first, let's test out these ultrasonic projectors. As you can see, they're producing smoke right out of that area, and that's where we're gonna project on. All right, now we are projecting, as you can see. So now we can connect the projector to the phone. And there's an app called EasyCast we can just hop right into. So to start, let's just try projecting my logo. Let's see if this works. All right, about to flex on everyone. Squeeze the sides to turn on the hologram. Oh, there we go. Uh, all right, we're projecting the home menu. And there we go, guys. There's the hologram directly from our phone, baby. Woo! Get my hand through and everything. Hologram. Right from our smartphone. What up? All right, now we're scrolling on the YouTube homepage. You can see it is mirroring it directly from the phone. There's my last thumbnail. You know, for being projected on a hall, I will say the resolution is a little subpar, but you know, you can clearly see that's the thumbnail from my last video. If I scroll down a bit more, you can see that's my ice ring video. It's my working Iron Man suit video, and obviously this is a hologram, so we can just run our hands completely through this thing. No glass, nothing like that. Mirror directly from our phone, that's what we're looking at. Projecting the hologram right out of our phone, baby. Turn it off with just a simple squeeze. Boom, it's off. All right, so now we're on Instagram. Say you wanna show off your pictures in a more exciting way. Check this out. You can scroll through it just like that. Wave the hand right through it, guys. What else we got? You can also surf the web, too. There's, I'm on my website right now, if you guys can tell. JLaserVideo.com, check it out. I'm just gonna use this hologram, just plug all my shit. Merch link in description. <coughs> Merch link in bio. <clears throat> Guys, we can finally look at memes on a hologram. We are make, we are literally making history with this video. This right here is what the internet needs. You can also watch videos on here. Mm. Bumping speakers. One more time. Yeah. All right, let's try and take the world's first ever selfie on a hologram of it. This is gonna be pretty good. See right at my nostrils there, perfect. Snap the picture, get a load of that beauty, guys. And you can see this beautiful picture on the hologram as well. And it also works as a regular projector too. Kind of like that Moto Mod thing. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but uh, if you want a larger display and you want to show everyone, you can just chuck your screen up on whatever surface you want. 
Not bad. There you go guys, holographic smartphone attachment. As always, leave feedback down in the description what you want to see me do next. Um, hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of these hologram videos. If you are, let me know down below what else you want to see me do. As always though, I tried to improve upon my previous design. So we had a two of these ultrasonic vaporizers. Also, I tried to make the fan so it would suck air in from uh, this area and blow it out under here to kind of help with the smoke screen, uh, blowing it up, as well as keeping the device cool so we could run it for a lot longer. If this was an improvement over the last one. Pretty much it for this one though. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want. Uh, but other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.